Hi everyone. In previous video we already explained the working procedure and the phenomenon within the hydrodynamic bearing. So hydrodynamic bearing is as simple as a journal or shaft is surrounded by a fluid filling and just because of the squeezing of lubricant within the bearing cavity it generate a pressure internally without any external power supply it can able to generate a pressure within the cavity and due to that pressure the housing within the housing the journal will lift up and avoid metal to metal direct contact and after some course of time it rotate freely within the cavity so it is a phenomenon behind any hydrodynamic journal bearing and uh, this process this phenomenon is known as wedging action so wedging action is a necessary condition for any hydrodynamic bearing to work while a design hydrodynamic bearing a designer should consider the possibility of making this wedging action possible if there is no wedging action hydrodynamic bearing become a big time failure so before designing a journal within a hydrodynamic cavity designer should consider the possibility of wedging action so how we can consider whether wedging is possible or not how a designer can predict a good bearing and a good bearing action a go or a good wedging action while designing a bearing so to identify whether wedging is possible or not whether a proper lubrication is possible or not designer can use a particular equation or a particular relation so this relation is known as bearing characteristic number and we will be explaining what is the important of bearing characteristic number and what is the peculiarity of bearing modulus the coefficient of friction in design of bearing is a great importance because it affords a means to determine the laws of power due to bearing friction it has been shown by experiments that the coefficient of friction for a full lubricated journal bearing is a function of three variables the coefficient of friction between moving journal and fixed bearing cavity will be depends upon these three factors the factor number 1 the ratio of z and pi p the z represent the absolute viscosity of lubricant maybe you can take that in kilogram per meter second the second factor is d by c that is the diameter to the diameter clearance and the third factor is l by d ratio that the length of journal to the diameter of the journal hence we can write the coefficient of friction is depends upon zn by p d by c l by d so coefficient of friction always become a function of these three factor where mu is the coefficient of friction phi is a functional relationship and z is absolute viscosity n is a speed of journal bearing in up rpm p bearing pressure on the projected bearing area projected area means the l into d that is length of journal into diameter of journal so the bearing pressure can be easily found by load on journal divided by the projected area area means length into that projected diameter and see here the diametral clearance that is the difference between the diameter of journal and the diameter of bearing cavity the factor zn by p is termed as bearing characteristic number and remember it is a dimensionless number and by investigating the variation of zn by p with respect to mu 
we can understand how these factors are really depending upon the design of any wearing mickey's brothers investigated the relationship between coefficient of friction and this dimensionless quantity z and by p this is a better demonstration of mackey's investigation on y axis we have the coefficient of friction and on x axis we have this z n by p value so z is the absolute viscosity n is the speed of that journal p is the pressure within the cavity so the ratio is dimensionless quantity and this will be the graph this is the relationship between the variation of coefficient of friction with respect to z n by p by looking into this investigation we can conclude a certain relationship between z and p with respect to coefficient of friction so look at this graph we can start from the p from p to q suppose we have a high viscosity and high rpm at very low pressure maybe some other condition on that particular situation we have a high value of z n by p as well as mu then by adjusting these three values by adjusting z n and p we can reduce the coefficient of friction from p to q and keep on adjusting we can reach a minimum point the minimum point marked here as a and after that even though we adjust uh, in forward and backward direction or in any other possible manner it is observed that rat there is no further decrease in the value of mu possible so the point a is the maximum possible minimum value of coefficient of friction mu so for the reduction of mu is impossible and mackey's investigated that then after the coefficient of friction mu will increases from a to r then exponentially increases from r to s so this is the variation of mu with respect to z n by p it is the possible variation and within this graph we could identify one thing at point a we have minimum coefficient of friction and the value corresponding to minimum coefficient of friction the value of z n by p on x axis corresponding to the characteristic number z n by p is known as bearing modulus here the term k representing bearing modulus and remember this thing bearing characteristic means the dimensionless quantity z n by p bearing modulus means the exact value of bearing characteristic number at a point we getting minimum coefficient of friction or otherwise bearing modulus k is the bearing characteristic number when mu become minimum and from this graph uh, you can also generate one more information in such a way that we know that we have to reduce the coefficient of friction to avoid unnecessary energy utilization within the bearing support so for that we can pick the minimum coefficient of friction but there is a problem while you picking minimum coefficient of friction when you try to pick a value here and you make z n by p is equal to k that means you choose a particular viscosity for the lubricant and you fixed a particular rpm and you generated the required pressure you can make z n by p become equal to k
that is bearing characteristic number equal to bearing modulus and you're going to get the minimum value for mu but when you make the bearing stands on this minimum value there is an ex another possibility and look at this thing we have uh, this three distinct separation on this graph that is from p to q bearing actually produce thick film lubrication it's stable thick film lubrication that means when you make the zn by p value in between p and q bearing can produce a thick film between the journal and the bearing cavity so that we can expect a displacement of a journal from the bottom side of that bearing cavity but from q to r there is a partial lubrication may or may not it will test the bottom side but from r to s it's boundary lubrication and it's very unstable and we can expect a contact between bearing and the journal so just because of that metal contact we are getting a higher value of coefficient of friction from r to s then when you trying to fix the mu minimum criterion there is a possibility of slipping between a to r that is when these things that is z and and p slightly changes when the viscosity of lubricant slightly changes it may break the fluid film and it will may be falling down to thin film lubrication and bearing may collapse so the safety of this kind of bearing is very less and we always design for the sake of safety so for that purpose a designer should select a bearing in such a way that the zn by p value should be always always greater than k maybe 2k 3k in application which requires high precision and high safety we can select maybe 10k 15k on that kind of uh, ranges so designer can choose a zn by p in such a way that the bearing can produce a thick film lubrication so for that purpose when you selecting a lubricant for a journal bearing you can make the viscosity as per your zn by p requirement you can make the rpm as per your bearing characteristic number requirement and this magical relationship between zn by p explain how you can choose these factors for a better design of bearing so zn by p or bearing characteristic number is the key factor of any hydrodynamic design and um putting this end note remember zn by p is bearing characteristic number and zn by p corresponding to minimum value of coefficient of friction what we call the bearing modulus in this figure it denoted as k okay thank you see you in next video